Welcome back to another Wild Baby Wednesday. Today we'll be talking about groundhogs and showing you the groundhogs that we have in our care at Wild Baby Rescue Center. Also, we will be talking about distress signs if you ever do find a groundhog and what your next steps would be. This is Doodles. His mother dropped him in a field when she brought him from his flooded den. He came in with pneumonia, probably free from water getting in his up his nostrils in the den. He was treated with antibiotics and is doing very well. This is Snickers. He came to us when his mother dropped him after being frightened when she was trying to relocate him out of their flooded den. These two chucklings came in as tiny babies and have now grown up enough that they drink their formula out of dishes and they eat a lot of different fruits and vegetables. The larger one is Gwendolyn and the brown one is Radar. Enjoy your meal kids. This is baby Twitch. He came to us when a little boy found him just laying in the yard with his eyes closed and he was clearly orphaned. In this photo we are showing an animation of a groundhog den. This is what they would look like, and groundhogs actually sleep on their backs, so if their underground den becomes flooded, they can turn over and run out. They are very smart animals. Here are some signs of distress that you can look for if you do find a baby groundhog. A fun fact about groundhogs is that they are also called woodchucks, marmots, or whistle pigs. So they are clearly not pigs or hogs, so what exactly are they? The groundhog is actually a large ground-dwelling rodent and is part of the ground squirrel family known as marmots. We hope you enjoyed this week's Wild Baby Wednesday and be sure to tune in next week. And remember, you can always call Wild Baby Rescue at the number listed below for any advice regarding wildlife.